Hi everyone, let's just wait for a second for everyone to check their connections and then we will start. I guess if anyone has a connection issue or they can't hear us, just let us know on the chat part. Hello, Mahdi. Hi. <laughs> So, okay, I think we can start. Hi again, everyone. So welcome back to our new session of the Turkish University webinar series. Uh, my name is Gizem. I'm the educational counselor and marketing assistant at Medu. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a new university and, and learning more about uh, Üsküdar University. Uh, first, we will listen from them as usual. You guys know the drill. Uh, get to know their university better. And after that, we will have a Q&A session. Uh, I remind you, I kindly remind you to save your questions to the last part uh, so that we don't miss anything. Uh, and without further ado, uh, we will we, uh, listen and view a little uh, video from Üsküdar University. And uh, I will leave the microphone to Ms. Dilvar from Iskidar. Yes, Ali, let's start the video, please. Hello, I'm Emre Üçsular, the Director of International Relations Office at Üsküdar University. We are here to guide all international students from the admission status through your final registration with us to graduate and beyond. We are the international relations team at Üsküdar University who are trained to regulate to ensure all the aspects of international students' recruitment process to this world-class university, Üsküdar. And my team has also a qualified of knowledge to support you to get settled into your studies and make the most of your time here at Üsküdar University in Istanbul, Turkey. Hi, I am Baran Midani, an international relations specialist. Our university has three campuses with free of charge shuttles from one campus to another. The main campus is located in Altunizade, whereby you can come and speak about any inquiry related to the international student's life, such as equivalency certificate or resident permit, face to face. The immigration rules may change from time to time. That might affect you, so you must check out with our international specialist team for updated information. We provide a printed guide to the students about their equivalency certificate and resident permit to start the process. You do not need to go to the immigration for the resident permit. We are here to do it for you after getting the necessary required documents from your side. And if your inquiry is complete, you will be referred to one of our specialist team for further discussion. Thank you. Hi, I am Ibrahim Mukhtar Ibrahim, an international relations specialist. Within our campuses, we have a wide range of social spaces, cafes and restaurants. Not to mention our sport facilities, the gyms, the library, and the programs which are available for everyone to participate in, regardless of ability. As a student at Uskuda University, you are automatically a member of our students' union clubs. The union is led by students for students, and there are lots of ways to meet new people, build the communities, and make changes together. If you are looking for any advice or information, just visit the international office. We are on hand to help. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sabina Azizova and I'm an international relations assistant. In Üsküdar University, we provide education in vocational school, undergraduate, postgraduate and Turkish language courses. You can consult with us via email, line, phone call, using our online chat or face-to-face -face for free. We also run recruitment activities, presentations and webinars throughout the year. So, there are many ways that you will, you will be able to find us. Hi. I am Murad W. Tore. I'm an international relations assistant. Coming to Turkey to study can be overwhelming. We are here to help you access all the support services provided at Üsküdar University, including student advice services. 
which offers uh, expert guidance and practical solutions. If you have any concern about your health, we also will also have a health center on campus. Just make sure you register them before visiting. We also provide a free and a complete confidential concealing services, which offers a practical and emotional guidance when needed. Just come and ask. Hi, I am Dilber Aliyeva. I am International Relations Assistant. Coming to Turkey to study can be overwhelming, and that is why we run sessions in the International Orientation programs at the beginning of the academic year to facilitate your student life in Turkey and provide an opportunity to meet the new friends. We are available to support those of all beliefs, backgrounds and views of cultural differences. Students have access to prayer rooms and student faith societies. When you are coming to the end of your study, you might be thinking of staying in Turkey to gain some work experience. Well, throughout your time here, our Career Center specialists will help you to explore work placements. So that is it. If you have any questions, why not come and see us? We are looking forward to meeting you soon. Thank you. It was nice to hear from you, all of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. By the way, uh, good afternoon to all our students. Marhaban uh, bikum. It is a big pleasure to be with, with you here today. Uh, I hope you are going to enjoy the time we'll spend together. Yes. So, so can I start the presentation? Yes, yes of course. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, can you see the presentation right now? Uh, yes, we see your... Um, ah, yes, yes, it's open. Okay, so we can start? Yes. Okay, good, dear students. Uh, now I'm going to share with you some of the most important thing uh, uh, about one of the best universities in Istanbul, about the Üsküdar University. So uh, let's discover this university together. First, uh, welcome to Üsküdar University. On March 3rd, uh, 2011, Üsküdar University has been officially established. Uh, you can see the map of Istanbul and you can see Üsküdar University in the middle of Istanbul, in the heart of the city. Uh, our university gives the education in the most effective way in the heart of Istanbul, Üsküdar, opening the doors of a brand a new understanding in higher education. So, uh, having multidisciplinary organizations of positive and social sciences on common grounds uh, have been one of the most important developments in the uh, 21st century. Academic structures that strive to understand social phenomena and human behavior, criminal and terrorist behavior, have been increasing gradually. So, Skidder University have Five faculties, uh, we have a vocational school with vocational school programs, uh, like two years programs. We have five institutes, uh, 29 research, uh, research and application centers and over 50 laboratories in our universities. So uh, the numbers, we have four campuses, as I said before, uh, we have more than 22,000 students. By the way, uh, 3,000 of these students are international students from all over the uh, world. We have uh, 120 programs, 513 academicians, and uh, 412 uh, Erasmus universities. So, uh, of course, there are so many universities all over the Turkey and Istanbul, you can ask why do we should to choose this university? Dear students, we are preferred for many reasons, uh, but I tried to choose several main for you. First, 
uh, Skidder University has no alternative uh, in the clinical and practical environment for students who are interested uh, in psychology and behavioral health sciences. Uh, in bioengineering, Skidder University is the second to known offering clinical and research opportunity, opportunities, such as the production of brain battery, neurostimulation, and neuroimaging laboratories and health physics studies. Iskidar University will be providing the training of software psychology, focusing on the development of user-friendly software. Uh, then, Iskidar University has no alternative for those who push a career in behavioral genetics in molecular biology and genetics fields. Uh, then, we're quite experienced in child and adolescent mental health, uh, family counseling, and mind training. Uskidar University adopts a multidisciplinary approach in psychology, philosophy, health, uh, genetics, and engineering sciences, and so on. So, uh, let's talk about our uh, NP Istanbul Brain Hospital. Uh, We have NP uh, Istanbul Brain Hospital. This hospital is the first special neuropsychiatrist hospital in Turkey, and it is the second brain hospital in Europe. Can you imagine this? You can see the pictures of our brain hospital. This hospital is also in the middle of Istanbul. So all our campuses is in Üsküdar. Uh, yeah, you can see four of our campuses, Central one, South Campus, Downtown Campus, and uh, the Medicine Campus. Hmm. Here are our free shuttle buses for our students. So our students, uh, mm. for example, if one of our students is in Central Campus and he wants to go to the, um, like, uh, to the Downtown Campus or to the Main Campus, he always can use our free shuttle buses. Erasmus agreements. Uh, by the way, we have uh, three offices. We have international office for the student for the new students. We're taking their registrations in this office. The second office is student support office. Uh, this office is for the students um, who are our already registered students. And the third one is Erasmus office. Uh, you can check more details in our website, in our official website. Here you can see our Uskidar University library. By the way, we have uh, the libraries in every campus. So uh, you can reach uh, all the books you wish uh, and you can check them in our website as well. So no need to come to the university in order to, to check the book. You can check it online. So let's talk about our laboratories. The university has more than 50 laboratories, uh, which provide the latest scientific techniques to the students and researchers. Yes, you can see the numbers of the research. We have our own television, the radio, uh, our campus is provided by the smart lockers. So uh, each of the students can use his own lock, his own, yeah, his own locks. Then you can see in the pictures, the dining hall, the cafeteria, the gym. I think you have already listened to it in the video. Yes, uh, so we have uh, Uskidar University Erasmus and International Students Clubs. So uh, before the COVID, before the pandemic, we're always um, doing the trips with our international students. Uh, these trips are free. Uh, it con um, contain in it the meal as well, then the entertainments, everything. Uh, by the way, before the pandemic, the last time we went to the 
Uludağ. Yes, here you can see our undergraduate programs in the faculties, vocational schools, uh, vocational school programs of health services. Uh, these programs are two years programs. Then the graduate programs, the master and PhD programs. You can see here. Also, you can uh, have the more detailed information about the programs in our official website. Yeah, how to apply? Uh, so our dear agency, uh, Middle Agency will help you to uh, apply. So no need to apply by yourself. And then for the application and for the registration, we need only your high school diploma uh, with transcripts, of course. We need the passport, the data page of the passport. And uh, if you want to study in English language, we need the TOEFL result. If uh, in Turkish language, so the um, Turkish language certificate, or if you do not have the certificates, do not worry. We have our own um, exams. So you can, if you, you can attend to the exam, if you pass, no need for any certificate there. Yes, this is our logo. If you need to make a wise choice, uh, the choice of mine is Eskidar. As you can see here. Thank you so much, dear students, for your attention. Uh, I want to complete my uh, speech with the wise proverb, uh, which is very popular nowadays. In the 21st century, knowledge is the key to success. And a good education is a foundation for the better future. So do not forget, dear students, you can be anything you want to be. No limits. Thank you so much for your attention. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dilbar. It was so nice to hear from you. <laughs> Thank you so much, dear exam. So guys, I know you guys are using your phones on Instagram, uh, but thank you for listening to us. <laughs> <laughs> but before we start our Q&A session, uh, I would like to share some information about Medu. Uh, most of you uh, were here last week, so you know uh, what to expect from us. But I just wanted to remind you uh, that what uh, Medu Medu's role in your uh, education journey to Turkey. Uh, yani basically, we help our students choose a university and program suited best for their needs and dreams. Uh, there are around 200 universities in Turkey and it can be hard choosing the right one for yourself. Yani especially if you do not know the country at all. But at this point, if you are really uh, considering on uh, studying abroad, I really encourage you to start doing some research on your own because uh, you find out what you want to ask, what do you want to know by digging, by researching first. And you can do that via our portal. Uh, portal. We have a new portal, Medu portal. We mentioned this last week. You can see all the information about universities there. Uh, you can find out uh, more about the programs that you're interested in. Um, so uh, Ali, can you share our Medi Portals link? Okay. Uh, don't forget to like uh, click on it. Just browse around, see what you want to uh, want, what you want to explore. And, um, and we understand that it can be a confusing and stressful process for you. And in not just we are a professional uh, education consultancy agency, but also our team members has experience in studying overseas. And we know what it's like to uh, study overseas. Um, so it is important for us that you guys feel comfortable uh, with everything before even arriving in Turkey and during your whole uh, study year here. Uh, we help with admission, we help with registration, uh, we help with accommodation, uh, we help with equivalent certificate. Also your uh, university also assists with these issues, but we, uh, they are our partners and we uh, coordinate together. So don't, for, don't hesitate to ask anything to us 
we do want to uh, be your family here. We do want to help you with everything. We pick you up from the airport. We get your SIM card uh, that so that you're connected with your loved ones right away. Uh, we do city life simulation here. You explore the city uh, in a short time. We have many middle club activities. We did a boat trip this year. Uh, we have projects, competitions. We encourage you to like uh, interact. We understand the with the pandemic here, uh, it was harder for our students to socialize in their first year. But uh, everything, this is just the obstacle we have to get through together. Um, and what else? What else? I mean, I don't want to keep you too long. Uh, and yani, to sum up, we all do this uh, so that you are happy with your student study life here, so that your you will have beautiful memories and experiences. Uh, you won't feel alone. Your family also feels comfortable to send you here. Um, and all of these things that we mentioned are free for our students who want to apply through us to, uh, to their chosen foundation university. Uh, Yazan, stop. Go, going through my Instagram and just focus on here, okay? Okay, guys, uh, let's go to the Q&A section. Uh, let's hear from you guys. You can uh, open up your microphone to talk. Uh, we want to hear from you, uh, but you can also write. Uh, shoot your questions, go ahead, it's your time. <laughs> no questions today. Abdullah is asking, when does the application window start for the next academic year? It just started actually, right, Ms. Dilbar? Yes, yes. yes. So uh, for the master programs, for the PhD programs, and for the Turkish language programs, we're taking, we're already taking the registrations online, even online. So no need to come to the university to prison here. Uh, we can take your registration online. Uh, what about the undergraduate programs and vocational school programs? Uh, we're just taking the applications so you can apply. Uh, we will start to send you the condition acceptance letters in um, like February, most probably in February after one month. But right now you can follow, uh, you can apply. So someone asked about dentistry. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, we do not have the dentistry, but uh, we're, uh, we're thinking to open it for the next year. For now, we do not have this, unfortunately. I want at the Skudar dentistry also. <laughs> uh, but if we'll have the dentistry, most probably it will be in Turkish language. So first, I advise you uh, to do not lose the time. Uh, for now, you can register for the Turkish language course. Uh, you can study the Turkish language, and after that, when we'll open the dentistry, you can directly start to your major. And studying Turkish is actually good for them, uh, especially if they are interested in medicine or dentistry, because yeah. at some point you will have to deal with Turkish uh, patients, and also you will have like a better uh, study life overall in Turkey. So don't be discouraged if it's like that in Turkish. This is for Emad also. He uh, he's asking if it's only Turkish at the moment. Yeah. At the moment, yes. But we're thinking to open the medicine in English as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, Emad, if you want to study medicine in English, uh, I can send you other options from other universities, and you can also browse through our portal to see which options is suitable for you. Uh, so Shoki is, Shoki, am I, I, I'm sorry guys, if I'm pronouncing your names incorrect, but uh, please excuse my uh, English, Turkish. <laughs> Shoki is asking about scholarships. Yeah, for the scholarships. Unfortunately, we do not, this, uh, we do not have the scholarships for now in our university. Uh, we just have the education scholarship for the students who are already studying, like uh, who finished the first year of the study and will start for the second year. If your marks in the first course uh, was good, so mm -hmm. you can apply for the scholarship. Yeah, there is no scholarship because the prices are, are actually really yeah. 
at Üsküdar at the moment. Reasonable. Uh, so uh, we will get into that in a, uh, in a minute. But uh, the prices at Üsküdar is already on the lower side. And when applying, you won't be getting a scholarship, but uh, after your first semester or first year, I guess, right, Ms. Dilbar? Yes, yes, uh, right. They can apply for a scholarship. So Ahmad is asking how much cost for living? Um, actually, uh, it depends on which city you're going to be studying. Also, it depends on your lifestyle choices. Um, but in general, if yeah, I'm going to give an example from Istanbul, uh, if you are living in a flat, um, that'll cost around uh, 1,500 uh, 1, tele. And the same for uh, life expenses. I guess, how much does that make in dollars, Ali? Can you, I'm not good at math, guys, sorry. <laughs> So we can say it depends, it varies. Huh? Uh, yeah, monthly, we can say on average two, uh, $300 per person. Is SAT optional, Mariam asked? No, we do not need the SAT, SAT. Like uh, we need the, only the TOEFL certificate for the language. Like we need only the language certificate, that's all. We need the average of your high school diploma. So, uh, law, uh, Aus is asking about law. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have the law program in our university, but we have um, the law for the master students. Mm -hmm. For undergraduate or vocational school program students, we do not have it. By the way, guys, I'm taking down the program. I'm taking notes of the programs you have mentioned uh, because we want to add universities to our next session. Teacher, do you have cyber uh, security and mechanical engineering? Uh, dear Yazan, we have cyber security, but we do not have the mechanical engineering. We have the software, uh, then electrical electronics, computer engineering, Industrial engineering and cybersecurity. Okay, thank you. Most welcome. So Abdullah is asking for the conditional acceptance. Can we apply with our transcripts, TOEFL results, and then if we get accepted, provide the diploma when we get it? Of course, of course, dear, you can. Okay, we answered the medicine question. Uh, yes, it's only in Turkish at the moment. Yes. But moment. as I mentioned, Mati, if you want options in English, uh, I can help you. Ali, can you share my email with the babies? <laughs> I'm okay. No problem. Mm. Ahmad, if if you want, if you guys want any other options, just uh, Ali is sharing my email. Please send me an email and which program you want to study. Um, okay, someone asked Larine, art and design major available at Üsküdar? Uh, we have, we do not have the art, but we have the designing majors in our university. All of them are in Turkish, in mm -hmm. Turkish language. Actually, art and design is broad uh, subject, Larine. If you, yani, if do you have any ideas uh, about which uh major you want to choose in arts and design is it like graphic design interior design uh if you could tell us that we could be more helpful to you maybe so emma is asking about athlete scholarships for example football and uh, universities accommodation residence oh, okay hmm. okay for the athlete scholarship uh, you can apply for this as well in our sks uh, center like you can write the petition uh, you can ask for the scholarship and after that like you will get the answer if you uh, got it or not like in it depends but uh, anytime you can apply for it mm -hmm. we actually discussed this last week and they know that it's available but the, it's up to the scholarship committee to how, yes, yeah, yes. how much they will get. But we're open uh, for uh, any petition from your side. 
Yeah. Hadel, Hadil, am I pronouncing it correctly? Hopefully, I'm sorry. So, uh, bioengineering cost. So, uh, dear students, dear Hadil, we have bioengineering. Uh, this program is totally in English language. Uh, the cost for it is uh, for the other students who are applying by themselves, it's $3,900. But if you will apply from the media education, uh, the price is $3,400 uh, in two installments and $3,000 uh, by cash, in cash payments. Um, by the way, only for this year, we are doing extra discounts because of the pandemic. So if you register this year, if you'll pay in two installments, the fee is $3,180 and uh, by cash, it's $2,806. That's great. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Considering that what Uskidar University is providing. Uh, yeah, we're doing the extra <laughs> So uh, Ahmad asked, what about cybersecurity engineering? What, the pricing? Yeah, I, I think the price, the price is the same for the cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Bioengineering, Shamsi. Yes, bioengineering. But they are actually same, I guess, right? Yeah, biomedical engineering is most used, uh, commonly used, but at Uskidar University, it's bioengineering. Yes, well, bioengineering. Uh -huh. Okay, wait. Uh, there is medical engineering? No. No. There we, uh, Skidar has bioengineering. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Mr. Oglo is asking. Uh, Physical therapy. Physiotherapy. We have the physical therapy in our university. This is the four years program. Uh, the education language is Turkish. The normal price for the students who are applying by themselves is um, $3,200. But if you'll apply from the uh, media education, the price will be $2,700 in two installments and $2,500 by cash payments. By the way, we're also doing the extra discounts because of the pandemic. So the price will be lawyer. Oh, the, for medicine. Uh, Abdul Rahman is asking the uh, fee for medicine. For the medicine, uh, for the for this year, we do not know how much will be the cost. I will tell you how much it was last year. Uh, the price was, uh, if you would apply from the media education, the price was only twelve thousand dollars in two installments and eleven thousand dollars by cash payments. So it's really, really very low. Yes. Yeah, and considering all the universities yes. in Turkey who which offers medicine. Uh, Üsküdar is one of the lowest ones. By the in way, fact, um, medicine faculty is a new program in our university. Uh, it was open last year. So we have only first year students in our university. Mm -hmm. It's totally new you know, uh, program. So Shemsi is asking about IELTS. So uh, IELTS in general, general is not accepted in Turkey, guys. Just a reminder. Um, but uh, dear Gizem, anyway, if the students have only IELTS, uh, we can ask to our English prep school if it's affordable. Like you can bring our, your uh, IELTS certificate, but we'll check your knowledge. We'll check your English language. Maybe it's really very good. We'll consider this. If you have, yeah, if you already have it, uh, you can send it to me. But if you're considering on taking an exam, we recommend taking TOEFL, guys. So, two la two more questions for today. Any takers? Teacher, the cybersecurity is masters or bac baccalaureus? We have Bachelor. both. We have both GASM. We have both. Okay. What? Uh, okay. What is the minimum mark of TOEFL to be accepted? 
Mm, the minimum mark for the last year, as I know, it was 84, if I'm not mistaken. 84. Yeah. Like we're accepting the mark, uh, which, uh, which is accepted by the all universities in Istanbul. We do not have any extra requirements for this. But if you don't have results, uh, any English proficiency, proficiency results, uh, you can take Üsküdar University's uh, exam. Okay. I think today we're done, guys. It's up to you guys if you want. Okay, a good question. Um, university ac accreditation. Mm -hmm. About the university accreditation. For example, uh, if you're asking about the accreditation in, for example, in Germany, so you should go uh, to the place of Ministry of Education in Germany and ask them if they're rec recognizing our university or not. So it depends on the countries. We do not have such a list of um, accreditation of our university, but you can ask uh, for the ministry of that country for which you want to know it's yeah accreditation subject uh, is the same for uh, for all countries it's yani you have to like dig a little bit deeper and know what you want to do after you graduate um so yeah what is the minimum mark of sat so Üsküdar university is not requiring SAT result when applying, guys. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, Mahdi is asking, does the university has accommodation or residence and how much it costs? The accommodation, we have the dormitories. We have our own uh, girls dormitory and we have the male dormitory. Um, what is the cost? Like, mm, it also depends on the years. Um, we do not know what will be for the next academic year, but as I know, the minimum cost uh, for the dormitory is 1,300 tele. This is for per month. Uh, and about the residency. Okay, if you are registering to our university, we're giving you the list of documents we need in order to renew your residence permit in order to submit your documents. When you bring us these documents, uh, we're by ourselves, we're submitting them to the migration office. Like uh, you're just paying for the cart. You're paying to the, uh, like, to the state. Tax, tax uh, payment. Yes, tax, tax payment. payment. I guess it was like 10, uh, 100, 110 mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. tax, uh, for the cart, sorry. Okay, student doesn't have tax, sorry. Only for the card, you guys pay 110 tele. Yes, to the tax office. Yeah. Uh, so, one more question. Emad is asking about the accreditation of Üsküdar University in UAE. Uh, so, yes, as I said, uh, you should ask to the ministry of this country. Yes. We do not have the accredited um, list of accreditations of our university. Okay, uh, guys, I think today uh, that's a wrap. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know you guys have a lot of questions and as we keep on talking, you, you will have more questions, it's okay. Uh, as I mentioned, you can contact me anytime. Uh, Ali, could you please share my email once again? I check my emails all the time. If you have any questions about Uskidar University uh, for Ms. Gilbar, just do not hesitate to contact me. Um, and as I mentioned, if you want to know anything else about any other university, I'm here, we are here. Uh, Thank you so much, Ms. Stilbar, for joining us today. Thank you, too. Thank you, too, Ms. Gizem. Uh, <laughs> thank you, uh, Media Education Center. And thank you, dear students. We're always waiting for you. Uh, we're ready to help you. We're ready to guide you. 
uh, you always can contact to us. You can contact to the um, Media Education Center to Ms. Gizem if you have any uh, further questions. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Your, your, your university is very good. Thank you. Thank you too, Ms. Gizem. Thank you for joining us today once again. Uh, and hope, you, hope to see you next week also. Okay. <laughs> That's a wrap, guys. Bye. Have a nice week. Bye-bye, dear guys.